In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to beat the blitz in Madden 23. It's something I struggle with. I'm sure that it's probably something we all struggle with is how do you beat the blitz this year, especially man pressure, probably best it's ever been uh, just in terms of the heavy pressure. How do you attack it? How do you beat it? We're going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. It's free. Also, if you want to get my entire Washington offensive ebook, which is the playbook we're going to be talking about today, make sure you join my Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up and uh, get you access to all the ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks as well uh, we're dropping a brand new ebook uh, i think tomorrow uh, we're dropping a brand new ebook this weekend as well uh, so we've got a lot of really good stuff coming your guys' way uh, but anyways let's get into it we're gonna be talking about the play flood out of gun bunch why i believe that this is one of the most underutilized plays in the game this year, and we're going to show you why. And we're also going to show you how to use it, set it up, so that you can actually um, attack this heavy blitz meta that we find ourselves in right now. So I'm going to come out in spinner. This is kind of the, ba the base uh, pressure that you're going to see. A lot of people are going to baseline and press it, so it's going to look something like this. Now, um, if I was running this defense, I would do something like this. I would man up this safety on um, the square receiver. You might see people, uh, you might see people move him so that he doesn't like have a tell, uh, and then they're probably going to man. Up that guy on the running back they're gonna user this guy over the middle and then typically speaking they're gonna man this guy up on the tight end okay so this is kind of the standard spinner defense especially against bunch you're probably gonna see so uh, what we're gonna do for adjustments is we're gonna wheel our running back that's gonna force that adjustment on the left side we're then going to drag the outside bunch receiver and that's pretty much it um, and what you're going to notice here is our first read is to the flats on either side and what we can do is we can hit this flat route really quick and this flat route is a, a little bit better of a flat route than like a standard flat route I'll show you what I'm talking about so like let's say I go to a you know another play and I put the same routes on the field okay so everything is going to basically be um, about the same and what you'll notice with this tight end is he will struggle um, he will struggle to basically get out through the flat really quickly uh, so you'll see here this is the tight end flat route that we hot route and you see here that this just runs slower it's not as good um, and that's one of the benefits as to why the play flood is such a powerful play year in and year out is the flat route that the game uh, gives you is really really effective now you see here that you know another simple way that they could kind of attack us defensively is doing something like this this is a little bit more of a lazy way to play this defense and it doesn't have that tell so if you see something like this your flat route to the running back if you throw that really quickly you can basically break a tackle that could be um, a house call depending on how they set up their adjustments uh, for example, uh, what if they did something like what you see on screen right here, and they try to use the running back uh, with the with the lurk? You'll see here. This is a great way to beat that blitz really, really quickly. Okay, so it forces them. This play forces the opponent to have to defend both flats, which is really difficult this year. Um, now, I want to show you another popular adjustment that you're going to see. Uh, it would be something like this. You know, maybe they do something like like this, if you will. And then on this side, instead of manning up the tight end, they're going to drop this guy in a hard flat. This is an adjustment you'll see all the time, especially in dollar. So what you can do, this flat route is really good because you'll see that this drag, because that flat zone is coming from the inside of the defense, my tight end is going to out leverage him to the quick flat so what you'll see here is i can throw this out here quick and again a lot of times you can break a tackle and be in a pretty good spot with these flat routes so you know that's another little thing another little piece uh, that we can do uh, to be able to attack this meta okay so now the next thing is typically speaking they're going to want to use her in the middle of the field um, but a lot of times they're going to kind of favor this side over here. So 
that's where this drag route really becomes effective. So what you'll see here is just a quick natural pick and rub, and I can throw that inside pass lead, and I can get about five quick yards. Now, again, this is the man version of this defense. Now, once you start to see certain adjustments take place, then you yourself can adjust as well. So, like, let's say you're getting this adjustment a lot, which has taken away your wheel route to the running back. My recommendation um, is to go ahead and block the running back in a situation like that. So you can now pick up the pressure, um, you know, by doing something, you know, doing something like this. This is my favorite way to block it. Just ID the corner on the left. Um, and now what's going to happen is you're going to have a little bit more time so that you can actually hit some of these deeper routes down the field. Okay. Now, their counter to your counter is basically this. When they start to see that you're blocking the running back, they're going to blitz this defender to try to get more pressure, but this is going to leave a misalignment in their coverage, and they're going to be lurking over in this area. So now we, again, are going to have them out leveraged with this play. So my tight end flat route will run, and I can throw that ball out there quick, and you see that. Now, another thing that you can do to improve this tight end flat route is to free form it. So I'm gonna hold left trigger, pass lead that outside. You see now he runs with the ball significantly better than he was. And then as they start to adjust to something like this, maybe they drop the flat over there, you know, maybe they kind of change their coverage. You'll notice that this can actually be very effective. So you see again, pass lead, free form it outside. Then you're gonna almost always get that right there where you can stiff arm and break a tackle. So real simple play here but really effective so now let's talk and wrap this up with some zone pressure so let's say they play a zone blitz um, so they're going to send heat out of zone if you see zone this throw is really good this running back and i'll show you because you got to understand where their user is going to be in reference to everything when you're putting this together so you know they're going to do something like this their lurk is going to be kind of more in the middle of the field and so what this is going to do is it's going to leave this little quick throw open. It's really hard for them to get out here. So we can just throw that quick. A lot of times get ourselves into a stiff arm animation where we can get, you know, over the, over the defense relatively quickly. Uh, the same thing over here on the left. So like if they're in a soft squat, that soft squat is going to bail uh, are going to kind of be influenced a little bit by these routes as you saw right there. So let's say their user goes to the flat because their user has to go uh, has to go guard the running back off of the rip. So the user is going to go to the flat. When we see that, we look to the tight end, no, and now we have that route to Godwin coming over the middle. So this is how you can quick dot one of the best defenses uh, in the game this year through utilizing these flats and then also utilizing this little quick hitting drag route, it makes this a really powerful concept. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. This is a how to beat the blitz video. If you wanna learn more about this offense, how to break down coverages and attack every defense, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is gonna be in the description of the video. It's only 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of our eBooks, all of our updates to our eBooks and any new eBooks we release while your membership is active. Got a ton of new stuff coming in the next week or so for you guys. Been really playing a lot of Madden and trying to learn the ins and outs of this game and feel like we found some really, really good stuff that's going to help you attack the Blitz as well as some really good defensive stuff that not a lot of people have shifted to yet in the current meta. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link to do so is down in the description.